Well, I mean, customer experience is obviously uh, extremely important to all companies. Uh, it's their lifeblood. Um, a lot of companies are starting to think about it differently, and I think it's great that Oracle is sponsoring a conference that um, really sort of sets, sets up uh, sort of thought leadership on the topic. Um, for me, it was a good balance today to get a little bit of sort of the theory from the Gartner analyst, uh, and then kind of going into the case study, we were able to share sort of practical in the field experiences with how we think about how we manage and define customer experience. So, you know, if you think about sales in the past, there was this idea of a funnel and this very linear process where people became aware of something and then they considered it and then they bought it. And so this idea of a funnel has now really become more of an influence loop where there are different points in a journey that customers take and it doesn't happen in a linear loop, it happens kind of dynamically. So sometimes companies look at it from their point of view, oh we're going to sell something. But it's really, you know, how do you get someone's attention? How do you get them to consider it? How, you know, how do you see purchase intent? And once they buy it, are they happy? Do they have buyer's remorse? How can you fix that? And then when they need help, are you there for them? Because that is really what's going to make them purchase again and again and recommend you to all your friends. Sales and marketing are getting even closer and uh, they don't differentiate these days uh, the differences between who's a marketer and who's a salesperson. So I do a lot of the, most of the business development for my practice, um, but I'm also resourced on programs. So I'm 50% utilized on the types of, on the programs that I sell. So it's very difficult for me to both execute as well as do any marketing or sales. Salespeople have become mini marketers. Because whether you're a salesperson, a marketing person, or a customer service person, you have information overload today. So it's not about bringing big data in, it's about bringing the right data into the picture so you can really be more productive in your job. Because there's so much information out there, you're already naked, and a lot of times that brings fear in people's uh, minds. And what we're really talking about is it shouldn't be fearful, you should embrace it. The pendulum has shifted so much from seller to buyer that grabbing a hold of that sales cycle and understanding how do we create a good looking, error free proposal, quote, contract, response to an RFP, and is not something enjoyable for my prospect to see, that's very, very hot right now. And when we combine it with other technologies at that last mile of the sales cycle, this is where I think the promise of the ability to get those sales cycles back under control lies for the next couple of years for the enterprises. And certainly the technologies that consumers are using are so much more sophisticated than what organizations are using today. Uh, it's amazing and that the average technology within companies is somewhere around 21 years. And so it's an interesting phenomenon that's happened how consumers are using more sophisticated technology than companies. I, I do believe that all of us can be designers, and I believe that because so often we think that we're in the business of technology or we're in the business of big data or we're in the business of building systems, doing other things, doing selling. And I think that divorces us from the responsibility that we have towards the experiences that we're creating and putting out into the world for others to consume. And if it's no good, then that's our fault.